What's up, YouTube? Ready for another episode of Hogwarts Legacy. Let's learn together. Last episode, we learned Revolve. The repair mending charm, repair slash mending charm, to fix broken things. Now, let's see what kind of trouble we can get into today. Let's look at our quest log. We got some challenges, but... Looks like we got another assignment to complete. Let's look at our quest book. Let's go to Hogsmeade. find Natty and go to Hogsmeade. I hope I haven't kept you waiting long. Not at all. Professor Weasley tells me that you need to go to Hogsbeat. You must be eager to have your own things again. And to see the village. I've been looking forward to it. Good. Shall we set off? I intend to give you a first-rate Hogsmeade experience. I was glad Professor Weasley asked me to accompany you. Really? Yes. I had planned to extend an invitation to you myself. I thought you might enjoy a butterbee in the village. <laughs> the timing of Professor bear. Weasley's owl was perfect. Oh, I cannot tell you how nice it is to breathe fresh air after being cooped up in ancient ruins. Grave mistake to take it as an elective class, believe me. I believe you. Though I suppose you would not really call it elective when your mother was the one who elected that you take <laughs> it. She's able to run just a little faster Hogsmeade than I. Hogsmeade is beautiful this time of year. Everyone will tell you to Follow visit at here. Christmas. But that's one of the few times of year I would rather be indoors. <laughs> not much for the cold, are you? Oh, I do not mind the cold so much. But it has taken some getting used to. I did not grow up around snow. Oh, wait, over here. I often spot lacewing flies in this area. Oh? What's so special about them? They are interesting to look at. But if you stew them, you can also use them in potion making. So we've got some lace wing flies now, and they're useful in potion making when you stew them. Look, from the forbidden forest, hippogriffs. I wonder if something startled them. I heard rumors that hippogriffs had been spotted nearby. Do you think Poppy's already seen the hippogriffs? Absolutely. Likely already named. <laughs> That's the Forbidden Forest on the left. It's off limits to students, <laughs> as the name implies. Why is it off limits? Like pushed me over the edge. The professors it claim it is too dangerous. I think that calling it forbidden only makes it more alluring. Ah, there's Hogsmeade over the crest. Past that ruin. Look around here a little bit. I would spend all Give of my time exploring if I could. Sight. I confess, I was surprised beautiful. when Professor Weasley mentioned that oh. you knew the area, since you're relatively new here. 
Sleeping toast or caps? Mm. She knows more about me than I had thought. I will say, while I certainly learn a great deal in class, much can be gleaned outside of the castle walls. Okay. What were those? How are you settling in? I remember the weeks that followed my arrival feeling quite strange. Everything was so new and unfamiliar. I'm getting used to things. What about you? Do you finally feel settled? I still miss my homeland, but it is beautiful here too. And getting out of the castle and exploring helped me to adjust quite a bit. Hogwarts has become something of a home now, I would say. Hopefully it will for you too. Keeping an eye out for any of those. Mr. Please. Moon! He is the Hogwarts caretaker. Looks a bit worse for wear. Any of those uh, points of interest on here that you can use to collect? Hello, Mr. Moon. Have you met our new fit here? Pleasure. Um, you might want to turn back, Miss On I. Uh, turn and run. Is everything all right, sir? Oh, it looked right at me. Eyes big as saucers. What did Mr. Moon? Jemmy, guys, ugly and airy and terrifying. I shall be at the castle where it's safe. Good luck to both of you. Poor Mr. Moon. A Debbie, guys. I think he had too much fun in the village. I will say that I have never seen him in such a state. We got stuff over here. There is much to see outside of the castle walls, not the continent. I am happy to explore whenever you'd like. Rumors being what they are about goblins and such, it might be nice to have a friend with you. I'll keep that in mind, Natty. Thank you. Hang on. Rebellion. Hogs meet guide pages. The only all wizarding village in Britain. Hogsmeade has been a favorite haunt of Hogwarts students, third years and up for centuries. Is for butter beer, and you can get any sweet you can imagine at Honey Dukes. I could not choose a favorite shop here, it changes with every visit. I can tell you that you are certain to find everything you need in Hogsmeade. I only let you walk in here, can't sprint. Professor Weasley said that you need to get potion recipes, spellcrafts, some seeds, and... A new wand. Of course. You will enjoy Mr. Ollivander, and I am keen to see what you will do with a wand of your own. You should be able to collect everything you need and still have time to explore a little as well. Experience Hogsmeade at your own pace. We can meet up in the town circle when you are finished. Perfect. Enjoy yourself. I will see you soon. Hogsmeade Village is brimming with different sites, shops, and other points of interest. You can navigate using your field guides map. Wow, okay, that's a lot. Um, okay, well then we know the first thing we need is a wand. So we're gonna set... Put that as a point of interest. Merlin, not again. Rebellion.
I'll be right with... Ah, it's you. Um, just a moment, please. Ah, uh, mm. hello, sir. I'm looking for... For a new wand, yes. It's about time. Yes, I... About time? Well, you're our new fifth-year student, are you not? Oh, what am I saying? Of course you are. Gerbold Ollivander's the name. But of course, you'll have heard of the Ollivanders, I'm sure. Finest wand makers in the world. It's a pleasure to meet you, truly. Now, come with me. Let's find you the perfect wand, shall we? Mm, uh, no, 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 not you. Um, ah, yes. Yes. Hmm. Powerful core. Ten and a half inches. Hmm. You might do. Here. Give this one a try. Well, go ahead. Swish. Hmm. How odd. Uh, once more. Come on. Really swish it. Oh, dear. <laughs> nope, that's not Well, this isn't more. a good match at all, is it? <laughs> uh, um, we'll find you something, not to worry. Mm. No, not you. Uh, uh, mm. Perhaps. Yes. A rare wood, 13 and 3 quarter inches, dragon heart string. Let's give this one a try. Looks like it's back to the shelf for you. Uh, this is proving to be trickier that than I had anticipated. Epic. How perplexing. Um, where are you? Perhaps you? Uh, ah, there you are. Yes, I think you might be the one. Here, take it. There comes the charm. Classic gray. Core type Phoenix feather. Flexibility is hard, one length, 10 inches. Curious indeed. Intriguing. Kind of like that one. Uh, curious indeed. How intriguing. Curious indeed. The original said Phoenix Feather. What do you think? Another wand, another beginning of a bright and magical future. <laughs> ah. Now, how did that feel? Good. Different. I sensed a sort of surge of some kind. A match. Your connection seemed particularly powerful. The right wand will learn from you, just as you learn from it. I'm eager to try it out. Of course. And a phoenix feather core is terribly selective. This will be an excellent match indeed. And the bond between you and your wand should only grow stronger. Do not be surprised at your new wand's ability to perceive your intentions. 
particularly in a moment of need. That sounds wonderful, Mr. Ollivander. I'll let you get to it. Do come and see me again, if ever I can be of further assistance. Okay, so we gotta go to Tomes and Scrolls. It's definitely worth exploring the back area. Okay, found 15 coin. Revelio. You're getting near any of the walls. Chess in the back. Let me see. Sneak around here. Take it to the mine. Leviosa. Lumos. Akio. We have no idea what to do to that thing. So it does show up on our magic, but Pardon me, sir. I'm here for the spellcrafts Professor Weasley ordered. Matilda student. I thought I might be seeing you soon. I am the proprietor here. Thomas Brown. I take it you've had a conjuring lesson then. I'm afraid I haven't yet, sir. Ah, but you will soon enough. It is magic at its purest, creating something out of nothing. Of course, it is not without complexity, but that is where my spellcrafts come in. Stay the course, and you could soon impress even Professor Weasley. That's certainly something to aspire to, Mr. Brown. I look forward to that day. And I, too, see in it. Spellcrafts are incredibly useful for conjuring unique items like custom pieces of furniture or decoration. But I shall let Professor Weasley do the teaching. For now, let's get the spellcrafts you need. A potting table and a potion station, yes? I believe so, sir. Good. Nothing like being able to grow your own ingredients and brew what you want, when you want. Let's have a look. Let's look at what we have, shall we? If you're interested, feel free to take a look around at the rest of my oh, inventory. Look at 51 gold. So yeah, this is gonna be... We just got that from here, so yeah, let's sell it, right? I 
Okay, so now we got 200 gold. Still can't afford any of his other stuff. So, we'll wait. Okay, so J. Pippin's potions. Alexander's one shop, ones of a ones of a variety of woods, and all manner of flexibility. Each possessing one of three magical cores. Choose their owners in cozy, cluttered shop run by the amiable and knowledgeable Geobald Alexander and the professional professional wand craft since 382 BC. The Alexander family are considered to be the best wand makers in Britain, if not the world. Zonko's Joke Shop, frequently frequented regularly by Hogwarts students and villagers alike. Zonko's is the place to buy pranks and jokes that hogs need. And uh, certainly a favorite of one of the uh, Revelio. Or at least one of the Weasleys. Welcome to J. Pippin's Potions. Hang on, dude. I want to search your chest first. <laughs> I'm a poor boy. It's the only way I make money, man. J. Pippin's Potions, established in 1753, is the apothecary in Hogsmeade where proprietor Perry Pippin sells a wide variety of potions and their ingredients. Okay. Pardon me, sir. Oh, thank goodness. When I heard the bell, I thought you were Miss Lawang. Not that she deigns to come here. Though. I don't believe I've seen your face here before, either. It's my first time in Hogsmeade, actually. Is it really? Well, Parry Pippin at your service. And this is J. Pippin's Potions. Potions for all ailments. <laughs> You'll have read it on the sign, of course, but Grandfather always made me say it in full. <laughs> How may I help you today? Professor Weasley sent me to collect some recipes. I'm new at Hogwarts. You're the student she sent the owl about. I set your things aside immediately. I suspected if you're anything like I was at your age, you'd want your potion supplies. Is it not the most fascinating art potion making? Rivals anything you can do with a wand, I've always said. Are potions really that versatile? They may not be as showy as spell work, but make no mistake, they are just as powerful. They can heal, destroy, protect. You'll discover all of this soon enough. As it's your first time in, I should mention that it's not just potion recipes I sell. I also offer ready-made drafts for all manner of uses, and I unveil new ones from time to time. 
Pop in when you can so you don't uh, miss out on anything. Hmm? But for now, let's get you those recipes, shall we? What can I do for you today? Feel free to take a look at the rest of my inventory. Or come back another time if you're in a rush today. Ooh, this cost 150. Ooh, that's expensive. We already got some lace wing flies. Some leaving toad souls. That one. Yeah, those aren't free, so. So we get some more change. Pages for a book. Revelion. Well, hello there. Sorry, dude. Gotta take you gotta get that coin. Sorry that you dropped it, but. Pardon me, sir. I'm here for the seeds Professor Weasley arranged for me to collect. Oh, the Dittany for the new fifth year. <laughs> I take it that's you, then. Merlin's beard. Starting Hogwarts is a fifth year. You must be positively reeling from it all. Not at all. I'm choosing to see it all as one big adventure. Well, bravo. Not everyone has the temperament to take things as they come. Name's Timothy Teasdale, by the way. And this is my shop, the Magic Neep. I keep the cart out here because I like a good chat. Can't very well be in the thick of things if I'm hidden away inside now, can I? I suppose not. In addition to seeds, I have plenty of plants. Grow everything myself. My speciality is potion ingredients. Even Pippin purchases from me. But what say we get you a packet of Dittany seeds? Let me guess. You're after something fresh. Do have a look around. Plenty of ingredients to pique your interest, I'd wager. See, we already got Dittany Lee. Well, that's everything. Seeds. Better go and find Natty. Okay. Revelio. Uh huh, there's something over here. The Magic Nape cart. This cart belongs to Timothy Teasdale, who runs the Magic Nape. He enjoys being in the thick of things and engaging with customers outside the shop. Levioso! Haha. <laughs> Akio! So, we still need to go back and get the rest of the, oh, the guide pages.
Revelio. Akia. It's a flying page, sir. Bit annoying. Okay, there's one on the other side of this building. Revelio. Would simplify things. Never seemed to ah. waste them. My mother used to say I was lazy. I oh. didn't pick up my toys, she said. Her own fault, didn't you? Oh. Oh. Sword of Saint. Yep, there we go. Leviosa! Oh. You can't get rid of broomstick. I just seen the page. Oh, there's a bird. Revelio. Rebellion. We can actually buy anything in here. Rebellion. Alright, let's go meet Nanny. There's more pages here to be collected. Revelio.
Lumos. Rebellion. Scriven Chef Cats. These cats seem to stay close to Scriven Chef's quill shop. Perhaps it's the feather quills that entice them, or perhaps it's the treat the owner leaves for them. There is most definitely a chest back there. But how to get to it. I don't bet it belongs to the house up above. Or, more specifically, up huh. back. Aha! Rebellion! Lumos! Levioso! Accio! None of those work on it. Yet. Might have some down the road though we can actually bring in. Rebellion! By her, by us and her butter beer. Ah, I have everything. I see what you meant about not being able to pick a favorite shop. <laughs> we should walk around a bit more. Perhaps today is the day I finally pick one. Oh, it's 
died. Wow. Okay. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. Ah. I, I, I have just everything. Throw these easy stuff. I see what you meant about not being oh, able to pick a favor at shop. <laughs> we should walk around a bit more. Perhaps today is the day I finally pick one. That's how we learn it. I'm gonna right click to skip it. A second troll. Did you two take on a fully grown troll by yourselves? I suppose so. It's all a bit of a blur, to be honest. Merlin's beard. Are you so all right? That's we that. are, and we were In glad to help. I'd say help is a bit of an understatement. Nerve like that. The makings of an aura, if you ask me. If you are unharmed, perhaps the two of you wouldn't mind helping me put a few things back to where they were. Of course, officer. Singer. Officer Singer. And thank you, again. Oh, hello there. A, a moment, if you would. I will see what he wants. Rebellion. There we go. Accio. Repair him. for Officer Singer to worry about. Okay, it's not like... Okay, there it is, the counter, okay. So...
Repair her. We were just talking about you. Hello, sir. I don't believe we've met. Allow me to introduce myself, uh, Augustus Hill, Clothia Extraordinaire. I should like to thank you for your remarkable bravery in fighting those trolls, and not to mention your help restoring Hogsmeade to its rightful state. I was happy to help. Frankly, you deserve an Order of Merlin, but I can offer you something much more useful. I own Gladrag's wizard wear, and among my inventory are some unique items that afford certain protections, as it were. Life-saving protections. And as I suspect this won't be your last dangerous encounter, I'd like to give you one such set of robes. In thanks for what you did today. Thank you, Mr. Hill. That's very Let's generous take... of you. It's the least I can do. Uh, now, uh, let's try this on for size, shall we? Plenty for your perusal today. Take your time. You've received a new piece of gear. Time to equip it. Escape to gear screen. The current defense and offense are displayed at the top right of the screen. So, we see your zero right now. Okay. So... Select the cloaks and robes gear slot and press left click. And we're going to equip this one. It'll give us five offense, or five defense, I mean. Two coins. Oh, hey, yeah, let's put our glove on. I suspect you have a sharp eye for fashion. What an extraordinary introduction to Hogsmeade. I would say that we, and you in particular, have earned at least one butter beer. Shall we head to the three broomsticks? Sounds like a good idea. Wonderful. Just down this way then. Let's make sure I get the the robes on. Okay. So that has six offense. <laughs> we pretty much sold all the stuff that we had there. And then select it there. I want handles. Oh, I thought the robe had it. Okay. Put the robe off for defense. 
the gloves off for offense as well. Okay. Five now. Yeah, we just picked up some more gear. Didn't think about that. But... So it's not going to give us that for a little bit. So for now. Oh, okay. So now it's giving them to us. Now let's see what gear we... If those show up on our gear or not. Nope. Plenty for your perusal today. Take your time. If I haven't said it before, it's a pleasure doing business with you. Let's clear inventory out I that way. I suspect you have a sharp eye for fashion. Be sure to stop by whenever you're about. Before you ask, I'm all out of the new socks, so if your feet are smelly, you'll have to work it out for yourself. Three coins. Come in. Let me know if you need help finding anything. Okay. Said we were gonna meet at the three broomsticks. Revelio. Play over me. Why is it she coming? Well, hello there. Come in, look around, and if you've been eating chocolate frogs, please refrain from touching. Plenty for your perusal today. Take your time. Look out! 
I suspect you have a sharp eye for fashion. Be sure to stop by whenever you're about. Revelio. You look simply glorious. Let me guess. Veal of blood. Revelio. What you say look out for? Plenty for your perusal today. Take your time. I suspect you have a sharp eye for fashion. Be sure to stop by whenever you're about. Plenty for your perusal today. Take your time. Okay. I suspect you have a sharp eye for fashion. Be sure to stop by whenever you're about. Jerry, me, you are a lost cause, aren't you? She's just standing there. She's not moving. Ah. Revelio. Clad rags, mannequin, guide pages. Unlike the enchanted mannequins favored by students for dueling practice, the mannequins at Glad Rags serves only as a means to display the latest wizarding fashion. to trigger her. May have to log out and come back in. Revelio! Glad Rags was a rare guide pages, founded in 1750, and with locations in Paris, London, and Hogsmeade, Glad Rags offers a variety of wizarding garments and accessories. Mr. Augustus Hill and his associate Otto Dibble happily help all those who wander into the shop, enjoying, in particular, the challenge of the customer with less fashion sense than most. That's me. Somehow, just crash boxes on here. Lumos, let me also. Revelio. Stuck looking at that direction either. Yeah, I think there's something up with the characterization here. Probably from us having to reboot. But... Rebellion.
Ready for a little change in fashion, are we? Plenty to choose from here, so take your time. Revelio. I'm all out of the new sock, so if your feet are smelly, you'll have to work it out for yourself. Lumos. Love you, sir. Tell me, that muggle falcon, isn't it? I can always tell. So very drab. Mm. Yep, okay. I'll come out here if I needed to. Oh, hey, look, she's not in there now. Assuming it is not too busy, you might even meet Zerona, the owner. She is a charming hostess and a powerful witch. Good one to know. Revelio. said you could get to the child when they came to Hogsmeade. That all you needed was a distraction. I gave you a distraction. I just watched a student take down your distraction. Who's this child? What are you not telling me? All you need to know is that if you cannot get to the child, then you have no value to me. Did they see us? I don't think so. What was that goblin doing with Victor Rookwood? Ranrock is working with Rookwood. The goblin from the Daily Prophet. I knew I'd seen him somewhere. Quickly, let's get inside the three broomsticks. It's a treat to see you, Lord Gok. I shall let you know if I hear anything. Thank you, Serona. You be well. He was eyeing me pretty hard. Now, what doing? can I... Oh, there's a face I haven't seen before. <laughs> it's my first time here. Welcome. Butterbeer's on me. Heard about the attack. I shall be looking in on the other shopkeepers and residents shortly. Glad to see you two escaped injury. Thanks to this one, single-handedly took down a troll. Is that right? Well done. Thanks for this. My pleasure. I will say, trolls in Hogsmeade, 
That's never happened before. Something's not right. The only brutes we usually have to deal with are... Oh. What time, then? Was that Lodgok I saw leaving just now? <laughs> Your clientele's not what it used to be, Sarona. Not to worry, Victor. Once the two of you leave, the caliber of my clientele will greatly improve. I wouldn't do that if I were you, Theophilus. Come now. No need for theatrics. I'm only here for this one anyway. My friend is enjoying a well-earned butterbeer. Only want a quick word. Perhaps you didn't hear me. I said, my friend is busy. One would think you all had enough bloodshed for one day. Come, the Theophilus. The Three Broomsticks isn't what it used to be. Let's take our galleons elsewhere. Can't drink butterbeer forever. Seems you've made an unfortunate enemy. Watch your back. Rookwood and Harlow are worse than any troll you might encounter. Trolls, Ranrock, and Rookwood. What are you not telling me? I promise to tell you everything. But it's perhaps best I do that later. Some I think that now might be a good time to head no back to the path. castle. Set a personal waypoint from the map to track your own locations. I am certainly glad Serona was there. And that she isn't intimidated by thugs like Rookwood and Harlow. I want to understand what's going on, and I hope you will tell me. But for the moment, we should return to the castle. Professor Weasley will certainly hear about the troll attack soon if she hasn't already. I don't want her to worry. You must return to your common room for the night. Access the map. It's like the Hogwarts map button to switch to the Hogwarts map. None of these are the common room, though. So we'd be in Ravenclaw Tower. I think we're in staircase, I guess. Yeah. having trouble loading the guides or the locations.
this is a part of playing video games though you find bugs they're coding or you experience issues with their service and this is an online game so sort of an online game We found it. Okay. Quest complete. Welcome to Hogsmeade. safely back in our common room. So that is where we're going to end this tonight and catch you guys in the next episode. Remember, please leave a like, subscribe, ring the bell for notifications, and share the video, please. Thank you very much. Happy holidays. Peace.